Okay, folks, what do we have here? A South Atlantic, I think it's a model 600 uh, modified wind vane self steering unit. Now, how does it work? You notice it has two major components the blade, the wind vane blade at the top. And then the rudder attachment assembly on the bottom. So how does it work? Well, let's start with the wind blade. As you see, it uh, reacts to the wind. When you're going to hook it up, you're going to have it start working. You will use these control lines to turn the blade into the wind. So it stands straight up into the wind. When it after it does that, okay. These are the control wires. I've not hooked them up because this is one long wire that's going to have to be cut in half, depending upon how you install it, how far. So I didn't want to cut it until it's actually installed. But these wires, this wire cut in half, so you have two of them, hook up there to the wind blade. Two wires, kind of like on a bicycle, where you have the outside of the wire jammed in there in a mechanism they have. And then the interior of the wire is free to move in and out but it's held by the exterior up there. When the blade, the, the wire then comes down and hooks right here. One here and one here. So you got two wires going up there. Now when the blade, I'll put this down. When the wind blade reacts to the wind flow, in other words, you set it up so that it's right into the wind, if the boat changes course, the blade then will no longer be exactly into the wind and it will react to the change in the relative wind flow by turning either to the starboard or port. When it does, the wires turn, of course, come down and turn this mechanism right here. One connected here, one connected here. When it does that, it will turn this uh, auxiliary blade rudder. You will turn that. As you can see here, it's turned. When that happens, as it's flowing through the water, this will rise like that. As you see, when it rises, it turns the primary rudder. That then will turn the boat back into the wind. As it does, of course, the blade goes back to the vertical, it turns this thing back, and the blades center again. It'll turn this blade that way, the blade comes back to the middle, and centers once again, and you're back on course. So it's, it's uh, you know, very simple. I've not put it on the boat, so I, I don't know how accurate it is. But it certainly functions well enough. If it goes this way, the blade will turn up. The primary blade, the primary rudder reacts, turns it back on course. The blade centers again and moves this back down, and the boat is back on course. So, up goes the other way, turning that way. What happens is when the blade, wind blade turns and moves this, of course it moves this arm, it's free to turn the secondary blade, the secondary rudder, that turns the primary rudder through this arm mechanism right here. Now, if you'll notice here this black handle, that is for emergency steering should the yacht's rudder fail, 
you can reach back here, grab the primary rudder control, of course, and turn it on its own, right or left. And it turns very easily, as you can see. So that's, a, that's how it works. That's the mechanism whereby it works. Now, if you want to change course, these control lines, of course, will be in your cockpit. Just grab the control lines, turn the rudder. I mean, turn the wind blade. When it does that, that turns the secondary rudder, which turns the primary rudder and gets you back on course. And then you center the wind blade into the wind for your new course and relax. And it should keep you on course. Um, I've mounted it here. Of course, it comes with these stainless steel brackets, but every yacht will require uh, a modified attachment mechanism to hold it on your particular yacht. Okay, if you've got any questions, of course, you can send me an email. I've never on the boat, so I don't know how much I can answer, but it looks like it's pretty sensitive to the wind, so it should work pretty well. Once again, all right, right here it's lined up into the wind, so we can wait, uh, see how it reacts to the changing direction from the wind. That would change your, your uh, boat course. Now, of course, this is uh, this functions best if you have a very steady trade wind situation blowing for you, where the wind doesn't change. Okay, sailing around in a harbor, you'd be messing with this all the time, but out on the ocean in the trade winds, it should be very steady. Okay, thank you.